Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to continue what we've been working on for the past couple of weeks. I first built a really quick search in PubMed for pressure ulcer, and then over time translated it into Embase and translated it into Scopus, so we have the beginnings of a really nice search document here that is fully reproducible. What I wanted to do today was translate this into CINAHL, and also sort of take some key steps here for cleaning up the document. So one thing I like to do is just create headings so that if I send it to somebody, it makes sense and it's accessible. And so what I'll do next is just copy the PubMed strategy down below. We'll call it CINAHL. I have access to CINAHL Plus with full text. This is important for reproducibility. There are several different versions of CINAHL. And today's 5-Minute Friday should be applicable to most EBSCO-hosted databases with the exception of the controlled vocabulary that you may need to choose. This is formatted right now for PubMed. Let's go over to CINAHL and find the controlled vocabulary for pressure ulcer. CINAHL subject headings is very similar to medical subject headings, but again, it's not the same. It's up here at the top, and we'll go into CINAHL subject headings. Now, pressure ulcer is a big topic in nursing, so CINAHL is a nursing and allied health database. So it makes sense to search here. Let's see what we find. Pressure ulcer. I've actually never understood what some of these older headings mean. I think they're just kind of legacy headings. So we'll stick with pressure ulcer and view the scope note. We'll look at the scope note first. Okay, makes sense. We can click on the heading and see what falls beneath that. So they call them, well, two narrower headings are deep tissue injury and heal ulcer, which we haven't used in the search so far. We could consider using those in the search, so I'll leave that up to you as the expert searcher if you wanted to try these in the database and see if they bring back meaningful results. If not, let's just pick pressure ulcer, no explode. So I'll select pressure ulcer. We're not, in, we're not looking at any particular subheadings and then we'll search database. That puts it into a format that I can copy and paste. So let's just copy that, and I'll go back to my Word document. One thing I've noticed that EBSCO databases do is really just put a lot of parentheses around everything, and we don't need those. Okay, so you have two options here. You can get rid of the TWs, and then search it just like this. Now, the default field in an EBSCO database, the default fields for an unqualified search are authors, subjects, keywords, title information, and abstracts. I know that sometimes we need to be a bit more specific in the way that we search or a bit more targeted. So there's two options here. So I'll show you another option in just a minute. But first, let's just take this. So the MH is a subject heading, and the rest are keywords. And we'll go back to the browser here and clear this out, and now we'll paste our whole thing. We had 15,138 with just the subject heading. Now we've added all these additional keywords, and we have 19,059. Now let's go back and look at the second way to do this. If you really needed to be specific, you're going to limit these to fields. Not specific in terms of the search, but in specific in terms of the way that you search. So we're going to say TI, or AB, right? So title or abstract, any of these terms. And actually, just to make sure we've got the right number of parentheses, we'll just put the subject heading by itself. Now we can copy this and clear this out and paste this. I think we'll get fewer because we've limited it to just the title and the abstract. And if you wanted to see what other fields are available, you can check here. Title and abstract is what we're using. I'll click search. And we got 18,987. So what I suspected was correct. Now we can look at the search history just to see the difference. And this is something you'll probably do as you're building searches, say, which one got the best results? Which one matched the other databases that we're searching in terms of fields? Etc. I wouldn't ever suggest just using the subject heading for anything that's more comprehensive or systematic. 
So that's two ways to translate your search into EBSCO-hosted CINAHL Plus with full text. We did it with just the subject heading and default field keywords. And then I also did it with subject heading and then title or abstract keywords. And the results were different for both. If you're searching in CINAHL Plus or any other EBSCO-hosted database, good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Friday.